Hey Taylor Tots, my favorite part about getting something new is the unboxing. I know what it is, but girl, I can't wait to open it up. So let's go. <laughs> hey Taylor Tots, welcome back to Justice is Served. I am so excited. I have an unboxing that I'm gonna be doing with you tonight. And then I also got a fabulous birthday gift in from Linda, honey, Linda. Listen, Linda. So I'm so, so excited uh, to um, have had a great day. It has been over 100 degrees every single day here in Houston, Texas. And, um, you know, you, a lot of people complain about it. But I think it's taught me how um, the time of day that makes the shadow across the building and across the parking lot for me to know when to walk out to my car so that I'm not melting so I can, like, hug the building and, like... <laughs> I have been melting. I'm not going to lie. It has been so hot. But you know what? I will, I I mean, I'm one of those people that would rather be cold because I can put more clothes on. But it's not, I mean, we don't, we can't control it. We can't control how hot it is. So, I mean, we just got to deal with it and live with it, girl. So, I have been uh, taking extra precaution as far as trying to stay cool and, you know, um, dressing. I mean, when it comes to working, um... In the world that I do, you still have to look professional and things like that. So um, I've still been making sure that I'm wearing like my suit jacket and stuff like that. But I mean, honey, I wear uh, t-shirts with my jacket, like black t-shirts, things like this. So things that are easy and it's a little bit more breathable. Um, and then just making sure that um, drinking a lot of water, drinking a lot of water. Uh, the health journey has still been great. Um, I... Uh, have been eating healthy. It hasn't been a challenge. It hasn't really been uh, difficult yet. And it's been a week. So I know that it's it's going to come. Eventually it's going to come to where I'm going to be like, girl, I just want to eat that pizza or I want to eat pasta or whatever it is. But it's been a lot healthier of um, a balance this time in the sense of actually how I'm going to be eating and how like the type of food um, that I'm actually like thinking of in the moment when I get hungry Versus before where I was just like, okay, I'm hungry now. I want to eat crap. So it's getting there, girl. The great thing is, is I feel like I lose weight pretty quickly. So it's been a week and I can already tell a lot of uh, puffiness went down from uh, just too much uh, salt. And then, of course, all the carbs and all that kind of stuff. So um, I will tell you my savior has been Metamucil. <laughs> no, that sounds crazy. But Metamucil is... Um, it's a supplement uh, because it's a lot of fiber, but it, uh, it helps keep you full. So if you drink it before you, you eat, um, then you can make more realistic choices because it, it kind of fills the stomach. Uh, there's a coating in it. Um, and then it lets you <whistles> easily. So all I'm saying is uh, if you have an issue with getting hungry in the moment and then just like gorging when you're eating, try and get Metamucil. I get the packets that are on the to-go packet. Um, I also do sugar-free, um, so I don't have all that crap in it, but I will tell you doing that, I usually get like a bottle of water, um, like just the normal size of water. I'll drink about a third or half, and then I'll put the packet in, shake it up a lot. Do not let it set because it starts to turn into like a gel, and it tastes disgusting because it is a texture thing for me. Um, but the taste is orange, so when you're drinking it immediately, it just tastes like you're, you're drinking um, a watered-down orange juice. But obviously, do not let it sit, girl, because she turns into jelly real quick. <laughs> but I, um, I mean, I had an awesome day. I mean, when is it not a great day? I mean, to be honest with you, I have such fabulous teams. And going in, and I took cinnamon rolls into one of my locations just to really just say thank you for your hard work. And it wasn't for just my team. It was for everybody in the fragrance department for men and women's and for cosmetics because they work so hard. And the thing is, is I appreciate, um, their help. I mean, at the end of the day, they're, they're there they get paid, they get commission, they get all this other stuff, but you know, it's really, um, rewarding to see their hard work pay off and, and it takes a village to be successful. So, um, we, I let the, the team choose what they wanted to bring in for them as a thank you. And then I, I didn't even stay for it to be handed out because I didn't want it, you know, coming from me. I wanted it to be from the, my team going to them to thank them for all their support all the time. And just, you know, saying, uh, we appreciate you and we can't do it without you. So, you know, they were, they were so excited. And then when I was getting ready to leave, they were like, thank you. And I'm like, no, thank them. Like they're the ones that did it. <laughs> um, but 
you know, I took my, I, I, I asked all of you to put in the comments, you know, yesterday, uh, to, to do something, take the time after you're watching my video to do something and make a change in somebody's life, no matter how big or small that, that is. And moments like these are what I, I live for when it comes to my career, because, you know, people do work really hard and yes, they get paid to do this job, but their passion is what makes it successful. And people shop with people, not places. And I, I tell them every opportunity that I possibly can. I personally am not, I'm nothing. I'm not successful. I'm not anything without my fabulous teams um, as a manager. And I'm only as good as my team is. So, you know, I, I thank them for their hard work and let them know that I couldn't do it without them because it is them. And I think that we have to also take this mentality outside of work as well. And remember those people in life that are the friends that stood by you when you really needed that person um, and the, per the person that you didn't even know you needed that was there. And the person, you know, again, everybody's different. So not every person is going to be that shoulder to cry on. But just remember that person that took the time to even say hello or to send you something out of nowhere um, just to brighten your day or that person that just checked in for five seconds. Maybe they were busy, but they just had you on their mind. Just remember, not everybody is going to be the same level of support in your life, but every single bit of it is needed. And if we all were just so compassionate and cared about each other in whatever magnitude it may be, I feel like everybody would be a lot happier and there would be a lot less crime in the world. And, you know, and it's, it's you know, I'm not going to stand on the soap soapbox, you know, forever. <laughs> but I'm super excited to be attending... Um, tonight, when you're watching this video, so Friday, tonight I'm actually going to be going to a um, small little gathering. Chris and I are going to go and uh, meet um, uh, Londo Law. So we're going to we're going to meet him. He's a life coach. So he is, uh, I think he's moving back to Houston. Um, but I'm going to get his full scoop tomorrow night so that way I can uh, talk to him, get to know him. I don't know if I want to film tomorrow night with him, but I know 100% I'm going to be filming some things that I'm covering um, at his... Uh, pretty much launch party. Let's just say that. So it's an opportunity um, to attend on Saturday. So uh, my partner and I will be going there and listening to um, some of his great uh, discoveries in life and his career as a personal life coach and um, really just getting to know him as a person because, you know, the great thing about this is, you know, he's part of um, a huge community of LGBTQ plus, uh, QAIA plus, sorry, I'm like struggling over here with all the letters. Um, LGBTQIA plus community. Um, he is an African American male. I mean, I will tell you, it is so awesome and great to see, um, you know, we're all put in boxes as minorities, but it feels so good to see people succeeding in life and especially in something that they're great with and is a natural talent. Because, you know, when you're, when you're forced to do jobs that aren't really you, it, you don't get anything from it and you don't do your best. And he found something that is so uh, rewarding to him is something that comes so natural, and I'm so pumped to be able to listen to his message on Saturday. But who knows? Uh, tonight I may get some some one-on-one -on -one time with him and really get to know him a little bit. And um, it just depends. I mean, we may um, just cover one thing and then figure out when he has some time to sit down and just like chat and talk and uh, interview him. Who knows? We'll see what ends up happening. But I'm so pumped. But speaking of people that take the time out of their day to brighten your day with a message or by sending you a little something um, or even sending you a big something, I want you to open uh, the first thing. Okay, so this is a two-part in the sense of two things that I'm opening tonight. Not a two-part series, girl. I'm not doing all that. <laughs> not at the moment. Um, this first thing is from my company. Um, so we went to the national sales meeting last week where you saw the recognition for um, for individuality and really, uh, embodying inclusion. And, uh, this is something that they gave us as a gift. Everybody got something from Dior, but I would, I did not open mine, um, and put it on and all that kind of stuff. I kept it in here. So I'm so excited, uh, to open this. I know what it is. Uh, but that is part of the excitement is that, you know, you know what it is, but you can't wait to open it and put it on. And I've been waiting since, uh, well, until now to actually open it because I wanted it to be um, fully recognized that, I mean, our company loves us so much and appreciates us so much that they gave us um, something that they didn't even have to do. And none of us expected it. And we're not, we don't go there expecting anything except for just 
uh, the camaraderie with each other in business. And then of course, getting the energy off each other because we leave so motivated. And I think this meeting was one of the best meetings I've ever been to, uh, especially leaving motivated. Uh, and I think that y'all, y'all seen that since we come on here, but, um, I've been to a lot of different things, but this, that this company's direction is so positive and so, um, great. I mean, it's one of those things that everybody is in it for the same reason. And we truly believe that, you know, the, the client is at the heart of every single situation and it's all about the client experience and how are we, um, thanking you for, for shopping with us. And, um, yeah. So the great thing about the glasses for men's, I love this because the shoe box, if you've ever purchased uh, Dior shoes, they are, um, in the box. It's just like this. So the, these are sunglasses. Um, I took the sticker off here. That's what's on there. Um, so I am so pumped about this. So you've got the Dior logo and all capital fonting now. And then, <laughs> so it comes with the super cute book. What's in the book, girl? Let's see what's in the book. Cause y'all want the full fantasy here. So it slides out from the side and it says Dior on here also. And then the book is... In every single language possible. Well, just about every single language. Um, but I cannot seem to find... There we go. English. So, this is talking about the glasses, how to clean them, how to do storage, things like that. So, super cute information booklet. Um, they're very detail-oriented because, you know, they want you to be the expert when you go home. So, they can tell you all day long what you should and shouldn't be doing with your your items, but it's not going to matter until you actually fully do it. Um, and then the packaging for the new sunglasses holder are absolutely beautiful. The really cool thing about these is if you don't want to carry them, um, you can actually put them through your belt loop. And so look at the embossed Dior logo. I love this and I have it upside down, but um, it's raised leather. So I am obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. The cool thing about this is imagine if you wanted to carry this as a clutch, as a guy, take your glasses out, put your card in here and make it easy. But you're opening. So then the things you have in here is your cleaning cloth. And I have no idea what this thing is. There's some kind of wire in here, but I don't know what it's for. Maybe if I read the instructions. But, <laughs> so then you have your sunglasses. The great thing about these is when you open them up, they have a nose piece to hold your glasses so they're not just in the bottom. And people don't realize how important that is, but when you have the nose piece, it actually holds your glasses up to where it stays up in the fullest, most open part of the container that's holding it. Because what happens is if you don't have that nose piece in there to hold it up, then when you put it in your bag or you're in a hurry, it'll end up pushing it and clamping it down because as you can tell it tapers so this part would squeeze and start cracking your um lenses so for this one i am obsessed with this little uh detail that people don't realize and y'all can like freeze and see the mess up here but um the aviators are super cute but when you look it says the christian dior here on the actual glasses but if you turn them normal it's flat so i Love that detail. And as you can tell, she cute girl. She cute. She real cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love these. I saw somebody else open theirs and I was like, I'm not going to open mine completely because I don't want to get them damaged while I'm traveling. Um, and plus I wanted to do an unboxing moment and give it its fullest attention that it should get. Because again, who gives things like this? This is freaking amazing. Like, I don't know about you, but I feel so appreciated. Um, getting an opportunity to get anything like this because again this is not something that they have to give us so um how in the hell did i have this in here before oh there we go right there perfect um so yeah what do you think about the sunglasses do we absolutely love them yes i know i need to clean my makeup station don't try it <laughs> love 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 these love these love these um now the number one person since I have gotten on here so far that has just went above and beyond nonstop, always um, thinking of me, messaging me, checking in, 
Um, always just super supportive is Linda. And I know that Linda was the first person to ever send me anything here. Linda also is the one that was the first person to get merch uh, from me. So I'm so excited that she decided to send me something for my birthday. And I was like, oh, I can wait until the live and open it then. And she said, honey, I can't wait till then. <laughs> So I said, okay, girl. She's like, just open it. So this is, um, I love the Amazon packaging because you can put it as a gift and they put everything in here. And it says, happy birthday, Justice. Love you, Linda. So I love these because you can save these and reuse them later on. Ding. <laughs> so let's open up and see what's in here. I did not um, read anything. I did not look at it. Um, there was a thing inside that said what the description of the item was. And as soon as I saw it said description, I put it down. So I'm so pumped. But she said I was going to love this. And Linda, I'm sure that y'all already know me by now. And you know what I love. But let's see what it is. Okay. All right. Y'all see it. All right. Oh, okay. Is this covered? This side's covered. Okay, I'm going to open it this way then. All right, here we go. <gasps> ah! Oh my God. Okay, so y'all don't even know. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. O-M-G, Linda. Listen, Linda. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. You have no idea. My favorite movie of all time is Beetlejuice. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I am so excited about this. This movie is so, like, this is my favorite movie of all time. And when I tell you to the point where all of my best friends send me anything to do with Beetlejuice. So when they had the pop-up shop in California, they sent me that, they sent me... There was a hotel at one point that was this, that you could go into the room. People are always sending me anything to do with Beetlejuice because I love it that much. I've never been able to see it on Broadway and I really wish that I could. Eventually we'll get there, but um, I'm so pumped that they're making a second movie and that Michael Keaton is in there again. Um, girl, and the funny thing is, is every single person that was in this movie that was like main characters um, is, it was my favorite. And I was about to say, where's Adam? So the lady that played Barbara, okay, just so you know, uh, she also was in A League of Their Own. And if you haven't seen A League of Their Own where they started playing baseball um, and it was the first ever women's team and it was the story of how it came into uh, fruition and how successful it became because these women were so strong and actually did it and rocked it out. Um, she is amazing. I wish that she would be in more things, uh, but I kind of feel like she's phased out a little bit, but super amazing. Um, and then, of course, you've got Michael Keaton, which is Beetlejuice. I, uh, my favorite outfit is this. So, y'all seen me with the, the jacket on that Rich gave me. The reason why I love it so much is, one, it's extra, but, two, it reminds me of Beetlejuice. Um, and then, of course, you know, you got Lydia Dietz here, uh, Winona Ryder. If you haven't watched Stranger Things Season 4 yet, you've got to watch it. It's so good. And then, of course, you got Adam. Um, where, why is Adam not like prominent? Where is he at, girl? I've only seen one picture of him. There he is. So here's Adam. This is where he pushes it forward and his fingers go up and makes him look like a, a chicken um, with a long nose. Adam is awesome. I really didn't actually see Adam in anything else after this movie. If y'all know any movies that he's in, let me know because I would love to see him in a different, um, a different type of movie because I don't know about y'all, but have you ever seen like Winona Ryder will always and forever be Lydia Dietz for me. Um, and then Michael Keaton will always be Beetlejuice or Batman, always. And that's why, like, for me, I wish they would have continued with him being in it. Um, but, I mean, this is so freaking cute. Oh, lounge fly. Okay, let's open it, girl. Let's open it. Let's see. Let's see the magic in here, girl. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so the packaging is great. You can tell that the material that the backpack is made of is very durable and then they put foam in it to keep its shape, which is so smart. Ton of room. I love that the detail is still on the inside and then it's green stripes to match his look. Love, love, love. Ugh. And then of course, we can't forget the receptionist. If I knew then, what I know now, I wouldn't have had my little accident. <laughs> 
I love her. And the funny thing is, is I, when I first started my channel, I don't know if any of you see it, but it says um, unboxing. And it says uh, Beetlejuice unboxing or Halloween unboxing. I unbox these keychains that go, um, that are Beetlejuice themed. So I opened a lot of them and I actually got Lydia in her wedding gown and I got um, a couple other ones that I'm gonna actually put on here because why not put the swag on? Linda, you have no idea. Like I am like a freaking kid right now. Like <laughs> I am so excited about this. I think I'm gonna carry this in Huntsville as my purse while I'm at the drag show and educate these kids, honey, on who Beetlejuice is, baby. Oh my God, and look at the detail. I mean, okay, so love, 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 but you got a little hidden compartment back here that you can put in your little zippy. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, Linda, I am so elated right now. <laughs> so excited. I'm like, girl, taking all the stuff off. See, this is where when I say, is there a point in my life where I'm going to ever grow up and feel like an adult? Because I don't think so. Because <laughs> I'm like, honey, I'm a kid with adult money. And I feel like y'all are all the same way with me right now that we always feel like we're just going to get it. Um, oh my gosh, I love this. Love this, love this. Sorry, I'm reading the, the Beetlejuice on here, but girl, uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, again, I'm gonna let you guys see it because I am so freaking pumped about this. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I am so excited about this. Um, this is like one of the best birthday presents I think I could ever get. Thank you so much, Linda. Um, everybody, Linda is on here. You'll see her name. Um, you know, if y'all see it, tell her thank you again for me. Um, I'm so pumped about this. Like, you have no idea. I cannot wait to get off here and show Chris because he, we, he didn't know what it was either. But I saw this and, you know, Linda was like, girl, they just uh, notified me that I, they dropped it off. <laughs> and she's like, go get it. And I'm like, girl, I've got like, <laughs> I've got to go get some stuff. So I, the, the, I literally was out at work today or yesterday, sorry, because, you know, I'm filming on Thursday for today. And I went and I was like, oh my gosh, I got to go before it gets too late. Or I'm not going to be able to get the package before they close. So I went in there and oh, I'm so glad I did. Like, I'm so excited. And I think I love even more that it's like the kids version of all the characters. Like they look like those uh, bobbleheads. What are those things called? What are those, um, the dolls where you can, like they, people are always cutting their heads open to see the surprise that's in the brain area. Um, oh my gosh, I can't even think of it. I think it's pop, P-O-P, -P, but I don't know what else it's called. I keep wanting to say pop fancy, but I know that is not it. <laughs> I don't even know the name of them, but these are so stinking cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you again so much. Um, you know, I wanted to also say, um, thank you to a special person and you know who you are. And I'm, again, I don't know if I'm allowed to call people out and say, you know, thank you. Um, like if you're wanting to be recognized like that. So I keep things kind of generic as far as not saying the name on some people unless you tell me that I can. But somebody gave me a super thanks on one of my videos and I didn't even know that was an option. And I was looking at the revenue thing today to see how like the ads and stuff were doing because again, thank y'all so much for watching the ads because that's part of how we end up getting paid after being monetized and it's also off of views. Um, and I'm just being transparent with all of you because I mean, some of you have never done YouTube uh, and got monetized and it's new to me. So I'm still learning and being very shocked about stuff that's coming on. And, um, I got an email saying that I can do, um, like, a um, subscription thing where people can actually pay to subscribe. Um, but the thing is, is I was like, you know what? I don't want to do that where I'm like putting just specific content for people like that. Like it just, whoever pays gets to see it. But they had an option on there that I thought would be really cool because I can't utilize it unless I do it, which is coming up with different stickers and emotes and things like that, um, that you can actually use that would be specific to me. So like if you wanted to buy them and use specific stickers, um, the, or like, uh, pretty much emojis. Um, you can use them and it would be specific to me and only the people that like purchase them could use them. 
because again, I tried to think of a way to do it for free and it won't do it. So I was like, okay, well maybe we can put it there and not like do anything ridiculous. You know what I mean? Um, but I think it's like once you get it, like once you have the subscription or whatever, then you can use it as many times as you want. And I think you can use it on everybody's page. It's not just mine. So I'm actually going to be working with somebody um, soon. I've got to hit them up because it's somebody that Rich Lux used uh, to come up with his... Um, his uh his emotes and emojis and things like that for it for his postings so i'm going to look into that and see um if i can get a couple of things in that would be fun and cute uh tell me if that's something that you like if there's a certain type of emoji that you would like for me to try and get them to come up with um uh, that you would love to use um but again the super thanks i'm so excited thank you again for the the individual that gave me the super thanks Super thanks is uh, something that you can actually on the video, if you look on the bar where it's like a thumbs up, thumbs down, um, share button, all that stuff, there's also a heart with a plus. Um, that is a super thanks and that is actually how you can tip. So, and I, I never, I heard Rich talk about it, but I'd never seen it and it didn't notify me that the person had actually done it. Um, I actually just was like on my revenue thing and then I saw it and so I went digging through like when it said it was posted and finally found it and commented on it because I was like, why did you not show me that this was on here? Like, this is crazy. But just know that if you ever want to send something, you don't want to mail things, whatever, and you're more than welcome to. But again, you don't have to do anything. I am just excited for you all to be here. And your interaction every single day is enough for me. I'm just telling you now. But I want to explain things as we go because I want you to learn with me. Um, because I want you to know when you're going to other people's channel, uh, if you want to support them, how are different ways to support them? Views are always the number one way to support and make sure you're watching the ads. Um, if they're extremely long, we completely understand, skip it. Um, but not everybody has a PO box and everybody wants to do unboxing and things like that. Uh, so if you ever do a super thanks, it's fun. Uh, they do not get the full super thanks just so you know. Um, so they take uh, a portion of it. Um, uh, but just know like, if a person tips, say $2, uh, I would only get like a dollar and 12 cents or something like that of it. So it's, uh, I mean, again, I'm not trying to get in trouble by talking about it on here, but I want you to know, um, you know, your, what you're paying for, for one, and then two, how appreciative I am, because I, again, I understand that you're, you have your own stuff to pay for, you have your own life, and for you to even take a second to send me anything, whether it be a sweet message, your thumbs up on the video, your comment, or even sending me something in the mail, or even doing a super thanks, um, I mean, I, I'm so excited and I'm so, I guess, shocked at how much support I'm getting on here from all of you and how amazing you've been. Uh, this Taylor Talk community is growing every single day. Just know that I can't do this alone. And I'm so happy that I have each and every one of you here to support me all the time. And just know, like, I mean, I try my best to answer every single message and um, comment and everything like that, because again... It, it, you took the time to do it for me. I'm trying to do the same for you as well because I, I appreciate it and it really does make me feel great. But again, I'm so pumped. Thank you again, Linda. Um, and then of course, thank you, Dior, for the amazing sunglasses. Um, I cannot wait. My birthday is July 8th. I am so pumped. Again, in the description box in every video is uh, the description of where to send things if you want to mail something to me. Just remember to put your, your screen name for whatever social media because I would love to be able to read that name for them. Um, and then make sure that you put if I'm allowed to open it on camera or not, uh, because I don't want to embarrass you. And I also don't want to open something inappropriate uh, that isn't family friendly <laughs> on camera. I don't want to open it on camera. I'll open it off camera. I don't care about that. But, <laughs> but I am so excited. And again, your support, you watching, you sharing, you're commenting, you're liking, all of that is enough for me. All this other stuff is so much more icing and cherry and sprinkles on top of the cake. And I thank you so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart. This is what, when I say justice is served, is what I'm talking about. It's not just about me as a person. It's about each and every one of us finally getting a platform to, to be us and to, to be our weird little family and have a great time. Uh, because you know what? I'm weird as hell. <laughs> and I urge you to be weird with me, girl. It's fine. <laughs> um, I don't think there is a normal anymore in life. I think that it's uh, it's time to, to bust the taboo territories and get through those gates and just everybody be themselves. And if it makes you uncomfortable, 
to be around that, then don't be around that and just keep rocking it on. You ain't got to have an opinion about it. Um, but, you know, it's the same thing with, um, you know, your day-to-day -day mindset. You cannot have an amazing tomorrow until you fix your mindset today. And in this moment, you know, if you're having an issue or a hard time, just know that, one, you can change your entire day. It, don't let a moment dictate your entire eternity, okay? And the other part is, is be the beacon of light for somebody else. You never know who you're impacting with your amazing positivity. I'm not saying be fake. I'm just saying be genuinely 100% authentically you. And people are already going to love that. Uh, but again, I appreciate all of you so, so much. I will be doing a house tour just so you know next week because I'm on vacation. So I'm going to take a few days to get everything cleaned up, organized um, to the way that I want it to be seen and presented on social media. Um, because again, we live here. So I mean, it's not going to be perfect and immaculate. My drag station is a hot ass mess, but <laughs> it is what it is, girl. But um, I thank you again so much. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell uh, so that you get all notifications. The only way you're going to get all notifications is when you click the bell. It'll say all notifications. You have to click that or it's not going to tell you when we're posting things. And just know July 8th, I will be going live that night. When I get closer to time, I will actually tell you what night, I'm sorry, what time I'll be going live. Uh, but again, I appreciate all of you so, so much. Have a great night. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Mwah.